Hey guys, so welcome to Comfy Cozy Up. So uh, this week I've been doing the most, yeah. Um, feeling so much better now. I'm getting my sleeping back in order, getting used to my work schedule again. So I am not as exhausted as I was last week. So anyway, I just decided to get back into uh, Rebecca. So you guys know I started this last week. And um, initially I was going to stretch this out for the entire month, but it didn't work out that way because once I start getting into it, this book is really has very a lot of suspense. There's a, a mystery going on. There's some discovery going on. So um, this is a story, if you're not familiar, it's about a girl who uh, met a guy while she was working for a woman as her companion. And it was like a, this rush, quick situation, and they got married. And she is now living in his mansion that is very talked about because, one, it's grand. Two, his wife had died uh, 10 months prior. So there's this like idea of a ghost in the house of her. And the ghost, the wife's name is Rebecca. So this is what the story is about. So you just go, how she died. Um, the circumstance around her life, um, how people feel about her. So the new wife, which is a, the story is being told by the new wife, she's in the shadow of the old, um, of the, the first wife. And she's struggling with it of, you know, feeling belonged, feeling loved, especially by her husband, who is very bizarre and weird and at times not loving um there's no love here child i was like mm -mm, child there were times where in the beginning this is a clear signal of you just run get away from this situation because it was definitely signs that this was not a good situation 10 months after your wife is um dead you out here trying to get a, a new wife child that was the first sign <laughs> that you should have run I am entertained. Now the writing I love, there are times where the writing felt very poetic and flows really nice and you get this image of the house, how the house look, how things in the house look, especially like there's a time where she's in kind of like a library study. She's talking about the things that's on the desk, things that's in there. How she describes things is very beautifully done. I love the writing style on that. Um, they're near the shore. So the, the whole idea of here in the shore, um, the, 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 there's um, things about the, the areas and the people, how she described it. I love it. Her writing wise, she is definitely a writer. <laughs> she does know how to, to get your mind in a setting where you can imagine what the place look like. Um, so I'm enjoying that. Um, there are things I'm annoyed with because of the, the main character's naiveness. And you know, when it comes to characters like that, I struggle. So I am like still going through it. I'm almost done as you can see guys. This is it. This is it. So I am going to finish this in this vlog, which is not going to take me long, but I have all the things going on. So I am... Blog post is up. I did a blog post about how to come up with your own word prompts when you're journaling because I use word prompts when I journal every day. Um, so I did a, a blog post because I've gotten so many questions um, in my DMs about how to do that, how I'm able to do that and maintain that um, when there's not a, car uh, a calendar provided. So I did that. Um, it's a, it's, it's a, a very simple um, and hopefully helpful. So if you guys haven't checked it out, head over to my blog and check that post out. Um, I also did a video prior to this with my vision board, which I was very excited. I love how it looks. It was It's much smaller than last, than last year, but it still has about the same amount of words and um, commitment that I made to myself um, that I am um, determined to make it happen in uh, this year. Um, so that video is up in included uh, books that I have on my shelf uh, and, and books that I've read from Eric Jerome Dickey. Um, um, it was a nice video to do, but it makes me like a little bit like sad at times just to think that uh, he's no longer with us. But um, 
And I talked about the fact that I will reread one or two of his books uh, this year and do a review on those, those the ones that I've loved um, so that people can get to the older stuff versus focusing on the newer stuff where I think wasn't his best work. Um, so that's where I am with that. And I have been cooking and writing and trying to keep up. I'm behind on my comments and I'm trying to do that as I go um, because I have so much going on um, this week. But I'm excited also for some stuff that I'm going to do but it's probably not going to be in this vlog because um, the weather don't look too great <laughs> this this um towards the end of this week so I might not be able to do certain things that I wanted to add but it will be the next vlog if it doesn't reach here um but other than that um I am back I feel so much better and I am gonna continue so yay on to the next guy And it is a well, I, I thought it was a well written uh, gothic classic. Uh, I love the mystery, I love the suspense in this. Um, it, it, it made it more interesting in terms of the character because the main character, the new Mrs. Winter, she's very flawed, and at times I just think she was doing the most <laughs> because this idea of living in the shadow of a dead woman is it made her be you know irrational in terms of things that she's observing on and also ignoring signs of something that's just not quite right and then when she do um find out things that should have been a, a um the, the clue for her to get the hell out of the way like to pack your stuff and go that wasn't enough for her because it's that whole winning i need to be number one I am not going to live in the shadow of this, the, the, of a dead woman kind of thing. So because of that, there's a lot of haunting, like sometimes creepy elements in the story. And then the mansion that they live in, it's by the shore. So you just think of um, how the shore is in, in, in there's time when the windows are open and the, the breeze that's coming from the, the shore. It, it, you get that creepy element which made it even more interesting. Um, the suspense was so good because it's like, you know, there's, there's that, um, uh, mystery of what happened, who done did it, that kind of deal. And when you get to, to that scene of where, um, the secret is revealed, I was definitely surprised. I was thinking something else. And I think when you read this book, you will have that same idea that this is what happened. And then when you get to what the secret was you're just like what then you realize that how clever um you know rebecca was um and how um she used our situation to in a way to benefit her all the way to the end um love that the woman that take care of the house she is interested and she kind of did give away a lot to me when she when something happened and she, with her at the end and i'm like yeah I just knew that was going to happen, um, but it needed to happen in a way. It's kind of like closing something. So I, I was I was for it at the end. Um, I smiled because I was like, yeah, yeah, Rebecca. <laughs> yeah, like um, to, to, to have this influence as a dead woman in this story, it makes it really, really interesting. Um, because it's like creepy in the sense where um, 
that person is still living amongst them in many ways um, is just even the how the house is laid out it still has her written all over it there is a, a, a scene with a white dress and that dress situation um, I laugh even though I probably shouldn't have laughed because it was kind of like <laughs> poor 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 the new Mrs. Witch <laughs> like, but it was just like perfectly done but I did see that it was going to be a, 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 an effed up situation. I knew it was going to be when you read in this. So, so, sorry about the phone. So anyway, I overall loved it in terms of the writing. I love the writing. The writing really gets you um, to visualize the entire storyline and the, um, the place. And it was just descriptive in a way that it takes your imagination there. And I love that in, in how she writes. It makes me want to read more of her books. Um, and I, I, I love that it, it kind of give um, a take on how mysteries were done back then. I think, you know, it's, it's something that you definitely can see someone taking the story and twisting it and make it even better. Because there are areas in this that was a little... Um, um, slow and because it is a mystery sometimes in mysteries you, you do find that the author would slow it down in a way and that was it's, it's kind of to give a creepy aspect to it so I know this probably will be really good as a movie and I heard there is a movie I have not seen the movie um, because I, I, I wouldn't I would prefer reading the book first but I think I might still watch the movie to see how well they do it and how well they give off the creepy aspect of the storyline um, and you know the haunting of the the mansion and all that it will be interesting to see how it is done as a movie um, but it is it didn't it didn't drag as much and I did pace myself because it took two weeks to read this not really two weeks like ten days um, and that took my time with it so um, versus me trying to like you know go through this real quick that might be a problem for some um, I would never I knew going into this I would never like try to like read it fast I knew it's a slow read um, and I would appreciate it more reading it slow so yeah so thanks for watching guys and I am I have no idea I think I want some romance next I'm really thinking of some romance next but then I have this other book on my shelf that I want to read as well so we'll see what I pick up next but thanks for watching guys and have a good day bye